Hi everyone, this is Julie Bean with Beataholic, and today we're gonna to be working with these really pretty alphabet charms, and we're gonna be making a bracelet. I do have a finished necklace I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna talk about them, but first off, I wanna show you them working on one of my favorite new beading mats, and I can actually move it. So if you like being able to grab and go your beadwork, this is really cool, and it's available at Beataholic. It's these padded work surface bead mats, so I'm working on that, so that's just a quick little note because I was arranging this video and I was having a lot of fun being able to just do this with my beading. So those are available at Beadaholic. But for this video, I really wanna talk about these little charms. So these measure eight and a half millimeters. So there's petite, which I like. And what was kind of cool is when I ordered them for my samples, I was surprised at how petite they were and happily surprised. I think they are really nice for delicate jewelry, for making nice little understated elegant pieces. So of course, alphabet charms are so much fun because you can spell things with them. So I have the word hope here, H-O-P-E. And you can spell love, you can spell somebody's name, however you wanna do it. You can really create personalized items with that. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm not gonna be spelling a word here, but you definitely could. I think I'll just use like the letter P as if it was for somebody's name, like Pauline or something like that. Um, I'm gonna use a P charm in my memory wire bracelet as an added personalization. And then I wanna show you real quick something I did make and the instructions for this will be over at beataholic.com. But this was a necklace I put together. I did a little bit of pearl detailing on it. And then what I did down at the base is I took the first letter of both my boys' names. I have a F and a T and my husband's first name, which is, starts with a B. And I put them all together on a jump ring down at the base. So you can see how these look in gold. So that was a nice way of personalizing as well, using these really pretty alphabet charms. So the entire alphabet is available in gold and silver. So you can pick your preference. But like I said, for this one, I'm not gonna spell out something. It'd be really easy to do, of course. You could just have a finished chain necklace, some jump rings, and spell out whatever name or word you want. But I'm going to be making a memory wire bracelet. So I have my memory wire. I have my alphabet charm. I have a jump ring. I have a couple sizes here because I just wanted to show you. You can use whatever size you want. I have a four millimeter and a five millimeter right here. So I'm gonna be using the memory wire, the charm, the jump ring, and then for beads, I have this really pretty strand of Czech glass beads and I liked it because it was already multicolored. So I didn't have to order multiple strands, so that's cool. And then I'm gonna pair it with this pearl. This is a prestige crystal pearl in a crystal moonlight pearl as the color, which has just a hint of silver to it, or what I think is a hint of silver. It's got just a little bit of extra something to it, so it's not pure white. For my tools, I have a memory wire cutter, and I'm gonna have two pairs of chain nose pliers, and that is it. So another great thing about memory wire projects is they don't usually require a lot of tools either. So let me put this right here and we are going to then start our project. Okay, I'm gonna break this apart so we can see all our pretty beads spill out. And actually, let me take this necklace. I'm just gonna put it off to the side just so I have a little bit more room and I'll cut this. So just have all these pretty sparkly beads. Now, I don't know how many loops I'm gonna make. So a tip with memory wires, you don't usually pre-cut it. Now, this is a full pack of memory wire right here. This is 12 loops. This started out as a full pack, but this is my leftover scraps. So I always say, keep your scraps, don't get rid of them. You'll find a project for them later. And so this is the case here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I am going to turn one of the ends to make a little loop. Now you could do this with round nose as well. I find chain nose gives me a little bit better grip on the wire, so I tend to use the chain nose pliers. So I'm just going to put that little end right there in the plier, and I'm going to turn it. And you can see I've started like a little hook, and I just want to make it so it's a loop, so that what I can do is eventually hang a little charm from it, which is going to be our little letter charm. All right, so that end is effectively closed off, and that's going to act as our bead stopper. So now all we have to do is add our beads. So I'm gonna start with a pearl. So I just put that pearl right on the open end. And then I'm gonna grab a couple of these really pretty beads. And I like it that it's just gonna be a random color pattern for the sparkly beads. 
So I'm just gonna scoot those down. And you see how they rest up against that base. So they're not going anywhere. So I think the pattern I wanna do is I wanna do two of the larger check glass beads and then one of the pearls. And the pearls are five millimeters. So I'm just gonna grab two different colors of these guys. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm gonna kind of separate out what colors I want to be together so that they can contrast. So I'm just gonna start here putting these together so that they're not all the same sets, but I think this will make it easier so that I don't end up at the end of my bracelet with all of like a one color left. Just kind of loosely grab these guys. Okay, so, oh, and I have a, do I have an extra one? I do have an extra one. So if there's one color I don't like it quite as much, I think there's a lot of brown. Okay, so there we go. So I've got my little pairs together. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm happy with the length. So it might use up all the beads, it might not, but I'm gonna do this off camera just to save a little bit of time in this video, but you can see how our pattern is starting to look. So I like that, it's really pretty. We have a little bit of height variation and we kind of have a shine variation happening. So this is not gonna be very hard to complete, but I will do it off camera and come back and show you how to finish the other end and add the charm too. All right, so you can see that some progress has definitely been made. So this is what it looks like. So I used the entire strand just doing that little five millimeter pearl between every two beads. And what this made up was about one and a half loops. And I love that. That's one of my favorite lengths for a memory wire bracelet. So it basically goes around once and then overlaps twice in one section. So it's definitely secure and won't fall off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my memory wire now and turn the other end. So to do that, we're just gonna grab our memory wire cutters again, and we're gonna do it about, it's not quite a half an inch, it's not quite a fourth of an inch, it's kind of, there's a sweet spot in between. So it's kind of like, if you can see this, it's somewhere between a fourth and a half, and you kind of get a feel for it as you do more of these. And then what we're gonna do is holding our beads in place, we're just gonna grab that end again. And we're going to twist it up. Twist it over, keep twisting. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you keep twisting it until you make a full loop. Now, your beads are not gonna fall off if it's not quite a full closed loop. You're just working on getting it to be a closed loop so whatever charm you put on there doesn't fall off. But I like it, it's really pretty. And I like the silver with these pretty kind of lustery beads because this could have gone for gold or silver. And I think it worked out really well with the silver. So now what we need to do is we need to add our little charm. Super simple to do. So we had decided on the little P so I'm just gonna grab a four millimeter jump ring. Now you could do five millimeter as well. We might switch to five here. I'm gonna try the four to begin with and then see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna put the little charm. It has a nice little loop up top. I'm gonna put that through it and then just hang it off of our bracelet. So it's a very subtle way of personalizing in this case because we're not really emphasizing that letter. So if you are making this as a gift for someone, it's a really nice way of just, you know, adding that little touch without it being too over the top. So that is our little personalized memory wire bracelet. You could always go back to and add little dangles if you want. I put these little head pins in here because what you could do too, and I think I'm gonna do this because I'm already starting to do it. Um, I didn't bring over a round nose plier though. Oh, you know what I have here? Good, okay, I have my wire looping plier. All right, I am just going to create a little simple wire loop right here, crisscross. And then I've got my cutter. It's a good thing I had all my tools handy. So I just did this and I'm going to now add this over to the side that had the little charm, the little letter charm. Here we go, because I just felt like it needed a little something more right there. It just needed to be bulked up just a little bit, but you could just keep it really simple too. So you can choose whether you want this added little element as well, or if you just want to keep it with just the charm. Okay. Okay, 
there we go. So now we have a little charm and the little P. Super cute. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty easy tutorial personalizing a memory wire bracelet with the alphabet charms. And don't forget we have this other project if you wanted another way to use these pretty charms. This was a great way as well. And the instructions for this necklace and all the supplies will be over at beautaholic.com as well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and check out all our other videos as well.